ChatGPT is a powerful tool and majority of writers and bloggers use it a lot. But there are very many people who don't really know how to actually prompt ChatGPT to come up with the best output. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can write the best prompts for ChatGPT. This is basically for blogging, for article writing. These are SEO optimized articles that ChatGPT can write in detail. And I'm also going to show you how you can actually monetize that, making money from ChatGPT. Now this is going to be ChatGPT 3.5. Okay, majority of people use ChatGPT 3.5 and these prompts are going to work in ChatGPT 3.5 but if you have ChatGPT 4, these prompts are even going to work much better, right? So with that being said, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. Now the first thing that you need to have in mind is that ChatGPT is just a machine and it has to be given clear instructions, okay? This is what many people fail to understand. You need to give it clear and detailed instructions, okay? So when it comes to blog writing, okay, if you come over in my website, I've actually written an article on best chat GPT prompts. So the first category here is general article writing, okay? So what you want to tell chat GPT is that you want it to act as a content writer, a very proficient SEO writer that writes fluent English, okay? So you're basically telling chat GPT what it is. You're telling it that it is this type of person that they can do this and this, and they can do this and this. Okay, so this is the first step. You're basically telling ChatGPT what it is and what it can do, all right? And now the second thing is just to give it instructions. So first create two tables, okay? So the first table should be the outline of the article and the second should be the article, okay? Then bold the heading of the second table using Markdown language, okay? So Markdown is basically just a formatting language that's widely used in text in a way that a human can actually understand, okay? In a way that it makes sense, in a way that it's engaging. All right, and then next, you're going to tell it to write an outline of the article separately before writing it. At least 15 headings and subheadings, including H1, H2, H3, and H4 headings. This is very important, especially for SEO. Okay, this is actually what you want to add in your prompt. Okay, very, very important. Then start writing based on the outline step by step. Write a 2000 word, 100% unique SEO optimized human written article in English with at least 15 headings and subheadings, including H1, H2, H3, and H4 headings, okay? That covers the topic here, okay? So here's where you're actually going to enter the topic, okay? In these quotes over here, all right? Now, if you come back over here, it says write a 2,000 word article. Now, ChatGPT 3.5 won't be able to write actually 2,000 word article, okay? It, it Maximum you can reach maybe is about 1,500, 1,400 words. But you just want to give it 2,000 words so that it stretches as many words as possible, okay? If you're using ChatGPT4, it'll easily accomplish 2,000 words, all right? Now, next, you're going to tell it to write the article in your own words rather than copying and pasting from other sources. So ChatGPT is known for copying and pasting and pretty much rewriting content. So this instruction here, this prompt here is very, very important. Make sure to include that. Consider perplexity and bustiness when creating content, ensuring high levels of both without losing specificity or context. Use fully detailed paragraphs that engage the reader, right? Then write in a conversational style as written by a human, okay? Use an informal tone, utilize personal pronouns, keep it simple, engage the reader, use the active voice, keep it brief, use rhetorical questions, and incorporate analogies and metaphors. So this paragraph here is basically going to tell ChatGPT to again act as a human, okay? Write it in a way that a human can understand basically human terminologies, okay? Things like rhetorical questions, analogies, and metaphors. This basically makes it more detailed in a way that anyone can understand. And then lastly, end with a conclusion paragraph and five unique FAQs, okay? After the conclusion, this is important to bold the title, okay? It is important to bold the title and headings of the article and use appropriate headings for H tags. Okay, so this line here is just for a conclusion, adding a conclusion and five unique FAQs. And also to bold the title and headings of the article using appropriate H tags, okay? So this is the first general article writing prompt. And now I'm going to demonstrate on how it works. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, I'm just going to copy all this. Okay, and then come over to ChatGPT. And we're going to paste it here, okay? So now where we had the quotation is where we're going to enter our title, okay? Right over here. So I can enter a title like maybe politics and AI. Okay, so you can just enter whatever topic or keyword here between these quotes, all right? And then now you can come down and just hit enter. 
All right. So now as you can see, it starts with the outline, okay, the outline of the articles, politics and AI. It has the introduction and the subcategories, the two subcategories in the introduction. There is historical perspective, two subcategories, applications of AI in politics, three subcategories, and it goes on and on. So these are all just the outline of the article, okay? So it's basically going to write each and every section of this outline. Okay, that's the beauty of it. And if you come down over here, you can now see it has added our title, it's generated our title. So politics and AI navigating technological, uh, navigating the technological landscape. Here we have the introduction. Okay, so it's also extended it over here. Okay, and then this is basically now the rest of the article. So policy analysis, decision, decision making, challenges and concerns, uh, positive impacts. Now here we have two types of headlines. We have the H1 and H2. Okay, so this one here is H2. Okay, and this is H3. You can tell the difference by the sizes. This is actually bigger and this is smaller. Okay, again, this is H, H2, H3. Okay, H2 and H3. So it goes on and on and on like that. Now it usually stops right in the middle. So we've just hit continue generating. It's going to continue generating the article and it finishes with FAQs. All right. So let's just see how many words it's managed to, to write. Word counter plus. 1165 so at least it's above 1000 now a strategy that i like to use to make the article longer is for example if you come over here you can see some of these paragraphs are really short so for example historical perspective so it just says to comprehend the current state of AI in politics a historical overview is essential examining the evolution of AI applications providing insights into its growth and significance so what you can do you can tell chat gpt to expound on this okay so you can come down over here and just say expand okay you can be expand or expound and on and then you paste that right and then just hit enter now if you come down okay as you can see it's now going to expand on historical perspective all right so as you can see this is well detailed this is just for historical perspective only okay so you can actually include this in your article and you can do this for all sections. If you come back up over here, okay, let's go back. Next, you have evolution of AI in politics. Okay, do the same thing. You copy this, okay, down over here, expand, expand on, paste, hit enter, all right? So as you can see, it's going to expand on evolution of AI in politics. This is a secret on how you can actually make your art call longer. You can do a very lengthy art call by just expanding on each and every one of these sections, okay? And this is how you can write a very well detailed SEO optimized article using a very powerful prompt, okay? So again, if you come back over here to my website, we have the second one, okay? We have this other prompt. This is a general article writing tool. So this one here will tell ChatGPT first to forget all previous commands, okay? So maybe you could have been using other, other commands, and what ChatGPT does is that it usually tends to follow the previous command, okay? So you want to make sure it eradicates, it gets rid of all the previous commands, okay? And starts afresh. So forget all previous commands. There are two steps in this prompt. So the first step is before starting an article, you must develop a comprehensive outline, okay? For a long form article for the keyword, again in brackets, here is where we're going to enter our keyword, okay? Featuring at least 15 engaging headings and subheadings that are detailed, mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive, and cover the entire topic. Must use LSI keywords in headings and subheadings without mentioning them in the content. Okay. You must show these outlines in a table. Okay. I just forgot to add you over here. Make sure you to add, uh, make sure to add you over here, here, and here. Okay. So basically, what this paragraph says, it prompts ChatGPT to develop an outline. Okay. To generate first an outline. Okay. Right over here for a long form article okay it prepares it to write a long form article featuring at least 15 headings and subheadings all right now the second step okay so using markdown again using a markdown format act as an expert article writer using above generated outlines write a fully detailed long form 100% unique creative and human like informational article over minimum of 1500 words in grade 7 english using headings and subheadings Okay, the article should be written in a formal, informative, and optimistic tone. Must read all the information below. 
So again, this paragraph is basically telling ChatGPT to write a markdown format, acting as an expert writer to write a long form, 100% unique and creative human-like informational article. Okay, again, minimum of 1500 words. Now this one you can change it to 2000 words, but like I said earlier, ChatGPT 3.5 can't really get to 2000 words, but you can still add 2000 words so that it just stretches as many words as possible. Okay in grade 7 english okay now this one here is going to actually have chat gpt writing in grade 7 english okay grade 7 is uh, actually english that basically children can understand as well as adults can understand okay so it's just basic english again using headings and subheadings all right so the next paragraph is use english for the word or for the keyword here here's where we're going to enter our keyword and write at least 200 to 300 words of engaging paragraph under each and every heading this article should show the experience, expertise, authority, and trust for the topic. Again, here our topic include insights based on faster knowledge or experiences and support the content with credible sources when necessary. Okay, very, very important to ask ChatGPT to include uh, credible sources when necessary. And then focus on providing accurate, relevant, and helpful information to readers showcasing both subject, matter, expertise, and personal experience in the topic. This is going to actually help ChatGPT to come up with accurate and relevant information to readers okay next we have write engaging unique and plagiarism free content that incorporates a human-like style and simple english and bypass ai detector tests directly without mentioning them okay so basically telling chat gpt to write again unique engaging plagiarism free content incorporating a human-like style in simple english bypassing ai detectors okay this one is a powerful prompt because it's going to enable ChatGPT to write content that can easily bypass AI detector test, okay, or AI detector tools, right? We also want to include this. You can also include this on the previous, uh, on the previous prompt, first prompt for the general article writing, okay? So next, try to use contractions, idioms, transitional phrases, interjections, dangling modifiers, and colloquialisms, and avoid repetitive words and unnatural sentence structures. This line here is going to help ChatGPT come up with a very articulate article that has contractions, idioms, transitional phrases, okay? This is just basically English terms that ChatGPT is going to understand and come up with a very good, well-written article. Okay, and then an article must include an SEO meta description right after the title. You must include the title here or the keyword here in the description, okay? An introduction and a click quality short title. Also use the seed keyword as the first H2. Always use a combination of paragraphs, lists, and tables for a better reader experience. Use fully detailed paragraphs that engage the reader. Write at least one section with the heading, again our title here, or keyword. Write down at least FAQs with answers and a conclusion. Okay? And then here, we're going to tell ChatGPT not to assign numbers to headings. Okay? Like, for example, including a heading and numbering it. Okay? You don't want that on ChatGPT or rather on your article. And don't assume numbers to questions. Don't write to queue before the question FAQs. Okay, you're going to see exactly how this works. So make sure the article is plagiarism free again, very important. Then don't forget to use question mark at the end of the questions. Try not to change the original keyword or topic here while writing the title. Try to use again keyword or title here two to three times in the article. Try to include keywords or title in the headings as well. Write content that can easily pass air detection tool test both all the headings and subheadings using markdown formatting okay so basically just telling it to write a very concise article here that is plagiarism free and can pass ai detection tools all right and then lastly we have here it must follow these instructions in the article it should make sure you are using the focus keyword in the seo title very important use the focus keyword inside the seo meta description make sure the focus keyword appears in the first 10 percent of the content make sure the focus keyword was found in the content make sure your content is 2000 words long make use the focus keyword in the subheadings make sure the keyword density is 1.30 but this is a number that you can change just depends on how you want it to appear must create at least one external link in the content must use a positive or negative sentiment word in the title must use a power keyword in the title and must use a number in the title okay so these are basic instructions that you can give chat gpt Again, you can change them the way you want. And here, lastly, we have some notes. Now execute the first step. And after completion of the first step, automatically start the second step. Okay, so basically telling you to repeat 
the first steps process and then must write full article and if the article is lengthy then break down the article into parts okay this is going to be very effective for chat gpt4 because chat gpt3 is not going to write a, a very lengthy article okay but you can just include this and then now we can just copy this okay just to demonstrate how it works we have to copy all of this and come back over here to chat gpt um let me let me start a new conversation uh, rather new chat okay and then just paste it over here now between these quotations okay remember we had quotations here so here's where we're going to enter our title okay or keyword so for example the future of remote work okay now you want to copy this because you're going to enter it a couple of times so we copy your title or your keyword okay and then look for the quotations the other quotations they're about four or five uh, quotations here so in the second step okay no quotation here okay we have a quotation here we just paste it there we have another quotation here we paste it there we have another quotation here now paste it there okay we have another one here paste it there another one here paste it there and then we have three more here uh paste it there paste it there and paste it there okay so i think we have entered all the keywords so now what we're going to do we are going to hit enter all right so this one here is going to give it in a table format but you can also change this okay so first step is to outline the feature of remote work this is now going to be the uh, the outline and then we have our main title here so the future of remote work embracing a new era the introduction here the extension of the introduction okay here we have the evolution of remote work advantages of remote uh, remote work challenges in remote work technologies so this one is actually much longer compared to the other prompt okay the first prompt uh, it has a little bit more uh, content the paragraphs are longer but then again you can always expand tell chat gpt to expand it making your article way way longer okay and it finishes with a conclusion so let's see how many words this is yeah i think it's this is much shorter than the other one uh word counter so 907 right but then again like i told you earlier you can expand on each and every topic and subtopic here so these are two very powerful prompts here uh, for chat gpt the first one being the general article writing the second one being the general article writing too okay this one is going to give it a little more detail okay a little more detail and it's also going to have it write articles that can bypass content detectors and plagiarisms as well okay and these are just prompts that you can actually uh, customize them to the way you want them this is just how i customize some of it so you can also customize the way you want yours to appear you can change your steps you can add more steps you can reduce your steps you can add more details you can reduce more details you can tell it to do more actions in the article okay it's completely customizable that's the beauty of chat gpt and prompt generation okay or prompt engineering and these are articles that you can actually use blogs you can write them for blogs so let's say you have a website and you want to write an article you can easily use these prompts over here come up with a very well detailed article and if you're doing affiliate marketing you can write an article on a certain product that you want to promote you can write an article that's centered around that product of course maybe you can't find or you can't have chat gpt writing about a certain product but you can have chat gpt writing an article around that particular product for example televisions okay maybe you want to promote uh, tvs from amazon so you can have chat gpt writing an article on tvs something like maybe best ways to maintain your tv best oled tvs maybe something like top android tvs maybe you're promoting animal products and like maybe dog products so you can talk about how to how to train your dog how to train your cat or potty training your cat potty training your dog articles like that okay and this is how basically you can write articles this is how i write my articles on my websites how i write articles on my affiliate products that i'm promoting using these powerful prompts over here okay and if you want to explore more prompts more chat gpt prompts and come up with powerful outputs for chat gpt check out this video right here these are 10 best chat gpt prompts